Hi, it's Bev, BC Creativity today. Going to um, show you the hardest part that I found when I was doing the tutorial and following Martha Stewart's paper uh, Christmas tree. It's gorgeous, but there was one spot that gave me some difficulty. Um, you do your circles, and the part I'm going to share today is the folding part. Um, the printed instructions talk about folding four times and the number 16 is mentioned so that part was the part I found very confusing. Um, here's my circle and the easiest thing I could think of was to word it this way. You fold in half and you fold in half again. This basically is what I would term as fold one and you're going to do the same process four times. So this is one time. What you do then is open it and where you can see the creases you now go to the halfway mark um, to start a new section of fold number two. And when you fold over you're matching the lines of the paper that are already there. So you fold again in half and in half and this is what I would call fold number two. You then open it again and you pick a halfway point again between two of the already folded sections and match again your folds and this is going to be in half and in half that is fold number three when you open it you can see the tiny uh, creases there and there's one more huge section left so you fold that in half matching again your lines at the top and all the way around and fold again in half. This is fold number four. So when you open it, you can see there's many of the lines. There's actually um, four in each segment, which is where they were talking about your 16. Um, you then can pinch forward and back, forward and back. So the definition of your tree starts to pop for you. And then open the next section. You can't do it all at once because there's just too many folds. Like I said, one's forward, one's back. It just helps to uh, do this and then pinch your pleats a little bit firmer. As you can see, it's starting to form a really cute Christmas tree cone. One more little section here. So once you've fixed your pleats in and out. This is probably what I found the most difficult part was just taking the time to do all these pleat folds so that when you were done that's why you had so many folds. Um, all you do is repeat the same thing I just did with you um, on each of the circles. The other detailing is on the sheets with uh, which I'm going to supply with this. Um, I glittered mine with stickles and just did it on the outside and the inside folds. Um, Martha's thing was to glitter, glue the whole thing and then sparkle glitter, which I didn't have on hand. So like I said, the tree that I'm going to put the picture of with this tutorial, I used stickles. It's Bev, BC Creativity, sharing the hard part of the Martha Stewart paper Christmas tree with you today. Hope you have a great day and hope to see you again soon.
Have a good one.